So, time for part two, you guys. If you haven't seen part one for my birthday, make sure to go back to that video on Instagram and TikTok and see. So, we made these clay pots ourselves about a month and a half ago. Today, we're coming back to paint them. I don't know what to expect. I don't even remember what they look like. So, I had to pull up the pictures, to be honest. And that was halfway through because you about to find out something huge happened, um, like, in the middle when we were to about to do it. So the, but um, listen up. layer of each tile represents one coat of paint, and then the bottom one represents four coats. Oh, um, We so recommend that you top. do three to four coats the for your highest coverage uh, with little to no streaks. We also recommend lighter colors for your background and darker colors over top. Um, that makes sure that your details um, show up really well. Mm -hmm. that, that create tile oh. um, shows the difference. So the top one is a lighter color background, darker color details, and then the bottom one is the opposite and the lighter. So I thought I would let her explain. She knows it better. So pretty much one coat is going to be that lighter color. Then four coats is going to be the darker color. You put your little paint inside those little dip dishes, things or whatever. And then you put the number of the paint that you have. Um, so that way you can go back up to the paint bar and refill your cup up or your paint tube up as you need. They got stencils. They got pencils. They got stamps. They got markers. They got paint stents stencil things um it's so many different items they had that you can use or you can just freestyle i mean like it's legit up in there like i really really recommend this place and of course i don't want to get nothing dirty and as soon as i sit down and start painting y'all i did actually get it dirty but right here is where we find out we have a boo-boo situation coming babe already started painting so she's ready she's good to go yeah, then I look and see that's her paint one, not mine. And now she realizes she started painting mines. And we had to make a decision to keep going or to switch. So I decided I wanted mine. She decided she wanted hers. I didn't care about the base anyway. Um, because I was trying to make like a donut or ice cream. We'll show you at the end what I was trying to get to. But I didn't mind. She felt so bad. But babe, I did not care. I'm just so grateful for us spending time together and painting our clay. And um, we're going to go back and do it again. She's like, I don't want to paint someone else's clay because you can actually go in there and paint things. I'm going to do a different video. So I don't want to make this one about that. But um. Go to the Chesapeake location because there's two. One in Chesapeake and one in Virginia Beach. Today, we're in Virginia Beach um, because we wanted to go to like Cheesecake Factory or Winery or whatever. It's a whole little date day we had. But um, go to the Chesapeake one. Make your pottery. They'll call you in a couple weeks to come pick it up. Well, not pick it up. They come do part two. That's the paint. Then we are about to see what it's going to look like coming soon. And that is going to be like within... A couple of days soon. This is supposed to be some glittery dust. And it's supposed to be clear dry out with like um, a rainbow color. So we're going to see what it looks like. And right now we're starting to feel it. We are like excited. We're doing our little thing. Taking a little break too. Babe looked up on um, her phone some things that she wanted to do. So it really came out good I, I think. It came out good as we could do. Because it looked ugly. Like you know how clay and it was dark. And it was um dry looking and it's not glossed up yet so we don't know what it's going to turn out to be but we cannot wait we are anticipating this like so much we took like two and a half hours painting too if you want to know the paint time um because you got to paint let it dry paint let it dry look at that girl she was doing a cat that shit came out really nice too so that's supposed to be pink glossy up top y'all and like a brown on the bottom we're gonna see i'm gonna show you a picture at the end um but again these are all the things they have um so you pay per item and then it's a $6 flat studio fee that everybody has to pay. And I believe this was $95 what we did because we made our own clay. Um, and like I said, they got so many different items that you can use. It looked like a darn donut for real. But we'll see. Baby did the Egyptian, of course, 